package I recently received from e.l.f. containing a few things I bought during their 50% off everything excluding clearance and new items sale. And um, actually, I was really, really surprised they did this. It was their friends and family sale because normally you do it near Black Friday. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that is what they have done in the past. Maybe I'm get, getting my dates mixed up. Um, but yeah, they did their friends and family sale um, two weeks ago, maybe. And um, I purchased a few things that I am super happy to be able to share with you. Um, makeup always comes in like giant boxes. Like, can you see how big that is? It's a very large box, but um, I guess that's just to protect it. Okay, so the first thing I got was this Elf Hydrating Primer. like that it has a pump on it which is very nice and when you pump it out I'm just gonna do a tiny bit there but um I will do this I'll have like um swatches closer up as well but and then when you massage it in it's completely clear but it makes your skin incredibly smooth um I've actually used this in the past and absolutely loved it. I have completely cleaned out one bottle of this and I repurchased. And I have quite a few primers, so to use one up, especially a full size, definitely means I liked it. So I'm on my second one now and um, I like this one just as much. Although, I, I don't know if I'm crazy, but it feels a little bit more like greasy than my last one. Like my last one had a lot, like was a lot thicker, but this still isn't too greasy, but um, I have not tried all these products that are in this box. Um, I've tried most of them, but I'm not going to be doing a try on or anything because I have a special video. Um, I have one brand tutorial coming. So I'm not going to try any of these on my face today, but if I have tried them out, I will tell you how I liked them. The next thing I got is this um, e.l.f. Sheer... Loose HD powder, I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. My packing slip didn't say the name of it, and it just says Elf Sheer. And I actually bought it with the intentions of baking my under eyes. Um, but it is very nice for that. So basically, it has a little sifter in, in it, and you can just tap the powder into the cap as you would with any other loose powder. And then what I find is really nice, my, I like my pigments and stuff do not have this. Um, it has this twist um, mechanism on it where you twist it and the sifter becomes exposed. And that is so convenient because I store my powders um, on the side like this in my drawer. So then all the pigment always falls out into the cap and it's like a big mess and it's just not good. Um, and I really find that nice. So I really like this and I actually really love this product. I've been using it every day to bake my, bake my under eyes, exactly what I bought it for. Um, and I absolutely love it. You can see it's extremely finely milled like it just goes to nothing which makes it so good for baking your under eyes after you have applied a creamy concealer or color corrector so um yeah it's just a um white loose powder that is translucent on the skin i can kind of swatch it even though you won't be able to see it at all so there's that and once you kind of blend it into the skin it's gone and, um, if you have oily skin, I can imagine you absolutely loving this all over your face because it's very moisture, 
absorbing. Like, you know, when you bake the under eyes, it's absorbing the moisture and locking in <coughs> so much powder. It's going to lock in um the product on your face and also is going to absorb the excess moisture, which is, would be really good for really oily people out there or if you are not oily and you just want some really hardcore staying powder on your under eyes that is really really nice that may be like one of my favorites or top three that i have purchased i love that the next thing i purchased is this elf all over color stick in persimmon and this is one of their one dollar essentials products and sometimes they are not quite as good quality you can see the packaging on my powder versus this it's this isn't this is a lot more cheapy looking but um the product inside is nice I have not worn this on my face yet um but I'll just give you a, a swatch there it's not the smoothest but you can see it there And it kind of has like a sweet scent to it. I can't really, um, it's not, not like their e.l.f. shimmering facial whips that have a very intense scent to them. These do not. They just kind of have like a plasticky, sort of fruity chemical scent. They're not a great scent. I don't really like it. But there's that. And you can see it kind of catches the light there. I'm not sure if you can tell, but um, yeah. The next thing I got is this um, e.l.f. brow pencil, and it is also from the Essentials line. It has a spoolie on one end, and the actual pencil on the other. And swatched out it's just sort of this type of a color um this is another thing I have not given a shot yet but I definitely will um and this is in the color taupe and it's a little on the red side um the next thing is just this elf long-lasting lustrous eyeshadow and it's an interesting texture um, and mine is in the color toast. It's in the color toast. And as you can see, swatched out this shadow on, on my finger, it looks pretty pigmented. Swatch it on my hand. It's very reflective, but you can see it's sort of has a lot of shimmer in it. It's not super pigmented. It's kind of just glittery, you know, it's nothing great. And these actually have a very interesting texture. They're like a moussey gel um, cream. They're not powder. They're not cream. They're kind of a hybrid. And I tend to really like those products. Uh, it's a very chunky gold glitter. And I actually own one of these um, in another, like, a rose gold shade. And I love it. I tried it, like, on just my eyelids as, like, a base. And it did absolutely nothing. It just got everywhere. And I did not like it. I swatched it with my fingers. Um, and, it, and it was okay. I actually got one around Easter time. And... I was like sticking my brush in, you know, and gonna pack it on my lid, and I was like, yes, this is gonna be the most beautiful thing ever. I It will not pick up with a brush at all, not whatsoever, at least the rose gold one I have. It's like, this may be like the worst product ever. And then I use my finger, and yes. And then we actually like to use this kind of a top coat to go over your powder shadows. It makes them look less powdery and gives them a very intense color. So if it's like a gold color, it's gonna make them look gold. Rose gold, it's gonna be a very rose gold pop and it does help them to last longer big fan of those the next thing is this elf smudge pot this is like my fifth or sixth one um i don't own all of them but i do own close to all of them and this is in back to basics
And I got this because they are always slowed out of this. I tend to love the e.l.f. Spongebox. I only have one that I do not like. So these are really nice products. And um, I'll give it a swatch. It's a little bit hard for me um, to get cream products out of little pops, pots because of my nails. But I'm giving it my best I can. It's going to be right here. And you can see it's a very reflective gold shade. And I love these. And these are wonderful eyeshadow bases. And they are very cheap. So um, I like them. And also, if you are interested, keep an eye out at your local Dollar Tree. So they're, they, some of them, if you can find them, are just a dollar. And I found brownie points there multiple times. The powder is going to make me sneeze. <laughs> um, next thing is this. Um, another product I am so... So, so, so excited about is the um, e.l.f. Lock-On Liner and Brow Cream. And mine is in light brown. In light brown. And I got it. And I was so, so disappointed when I got it in the mail. I was like, no. No. That color is just... Mm -mm. You can see it's so light, but I'm actually wearing it right now. This is after, I, I put this on about eight hours ago. Full day of wear. Absolutely amazing staining power. I love it. I just like to apply this with an angled liner brush. This is just by Beauty Treats. It's really affordable and it's really, really nice and fine. It's good for liner or brows. And I just like to kind of dip it in the pomade. And that's kind of the color. It matches my eyebrows so well. I love it so much. This is like such a good product. Just overall, it's really nice. And the same powder, honestly, outdoes my Anastasia brow wicks. Because I know they're not the same formula of product, but that one was a $20 pencil and this was $3. And wow. Still on at the end of the day and it's it's pretty difficult to remove even if with my equate makeup like foaming cloths um not impossible but you know you you actually there's something there to take off instead of being like well my eyebrows are gone and wow i was so impressed with this the next thing is this elf matte lip crown in praline i actually bought this based on emily noel 83's recommendation of how you can just, this is so versatile and it just works so well for the fall. And I was like, that sounds like something I would like. So, um, I'll just give it a little swatch. It's right there. It looks a lot more brown on camera, but it's kind of like a rusty brown. Like, it has some hints of red in it and mauve it's definitely like the perfect brown nude not like deep chocolate brown but not like make your lips erase or you know erase your lips brown it's just a wonderful shade kind of deep but not super super dark and it's really good for the outside of your lips like she said or all over your lips which is how i like to wear it best next thing is something i actually Kind of, there's kind of a story that goes along with this. So, I purchased um, this. This is the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. It's the $1. Actually, I think it's like $2 now. It used to be the $1. And Sheer um, is their eye primer. I had one of these in the past, and I actually gave it to a friend because I did not like it. I felt like it did absolutely nothing. I was like, nah, um, you can have this because she um, needed an eye primer, so I was like, take it. I don't want it. I have my, you know, other ones. So I, for my one brand tutorial, which I'm planning on filming in the very near future, um, I purchased this because I was like, well, I need an eye primer. You know, for a one brand tutorial, I definitely need an eye primer, even though I know I don't like it. It's only a dollar with the 50% off, and I really want to let my viewers know about it and whether it's good or not. Plus, 
I would like to give it another try because I don't know what I tried. I don't know if I tried the more expensive version. I can't even quite remember what I tried, but it was in completely different packaging than this. Like, I don't even know. So I was like, well, this looks a little different. Everyone says it's, some people say it's good. Others are like, eh. But, um, n not a ton of people, like, hated it like I did. Like, I hated that thing with a passion. Like, mm-mm. Um, I purchased this and I had it, I had it added in my cart. And then I was like, you know what, for that one brand tutorial, I'm going to use a product I actually like, like the Smudge Pot. And I have a ton of those, and I think they look so, so, so beautiful. I love them. And I was like, I will just use that. Okay, just delete this, save a dollar. Would not delete. I must have clicked that button like 25 times. I tried it around like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and again at 5, and then I finally just purchased my order. I was like, what's a dollar? But I got it, and I actually... It's okay. I can't say it holds my shadow on a ton, it but it works, you know? It may, I can see it that it makes a slight difference. I'm going to have to experiment more with that. But yeah, it came in the mail, and I was like, well, yeah, it wouldn't let me delete it. Okie doke. So the next product I have here is the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip. This is actually the last one I needed to complete my collection of the four shades they had. Every time this was sold out and I could not get it. And I really wanted it because I thought, you know, the white highlight shade out is very beautiful. So I got this and it's just, it just looks like that. And then only complaint I have with this is it smells like, um, did you guys ever, like when you were a kid, you took um, like an orange flavored cough syrup and it, turns my stomach so much and I cannot take it so you can see just the reflectiveness of that and I like this but it smells like that and if I smell it I can't wear it like I have to remove my makeup I can't it's such a strong fruit scent and I knew that when I purchased it but I really wanted the last one in spotlight because I really want to try it out and if I don't smell it I'm good and it looks beautiful all day and it is a good product I love that product but I just don't like the scent if they would change that I would be so much happier so, the um, last thing that isn't brushes is this e.l.f. Everyday... I just dropped it. Okay, this is the e.l.f. Everyday Smoky Palette. And um, I actually got it to compare to my Naked Smoky just to kind of see if they were similar. And it just looks like that. You can see they have, it's definitely been used. I used it for about a week straight and I loved it. And I'm actually going to clean these swatches off my arm because I just have a feeling it's just, they're just going to get every, all over my white shirt. And I, I've kind of come to the conclusion that I should not own anything white. So I'm just going to um, give a couple of these shades a swatch and, um, they look so beautiful in the eyes. I have been loving this, especially in particular, this um, grayish taupe color. Oh my goodness, I am going to blind you people with the mirror. Yeah. This gray taupe right here, it's actually the perfect neutral crease color or transition color. Anything you want it to be, it works for everything. I love it so much. That is like my favorite shade in the entire palette. It's just that shade, and it, honestly, I'm not sure what's so great about it. I don't know why it works so well for me, but it just does. And I can't get over it. So, um, as you can see, I've definitely used them, um, the shades in here. It gives you this kind of, um, bronzy toned, um, an another kind of light bronze there um these two shades the white is actually pretty unpigmented i wasn't impressed with that same with the black it's not bad but oh yeah see it's on my finger it's like so black you can see that but on my arm you can definitely tell that 
It looks more brown or gray gun gunmetal type. And it is not the best black. But I don't wear black a ton on my eyes. And actually, when I do, I prefer it to be more subtle. So that's not bad for me. But I know for most people, you're like, I love my black. I love my black eyeliner, my wing. And I like to, you know, have a really pigmented black shadow for the lower lash line. Or to set my liner or the crease. Whatever your purpose may be. I don't think you'd be super impressed with that. Um... Definitely these shades are beautiful. I love using the bronze colors um, wet and they um, look absolutely amazing. I absolutely recommend that palette. Okay, so um, the last things I have in here are brushes and I brought bought three different brushes from e.l.f. and I actually love every single one of them. Um... This one is the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush, this one is their Crease Brush, and this one is their Complexion Brush. And we'll just start off with the Small Tapered Brush. As you can see, it has a very, um, it's not super, super tapered, but it does kind of come to a soft point right here. Elf's brushes have the tendency to be so soft. I've not had any shedding issues with them. And what I love to use this for is to brush off my bake or to do a um, highlight. And this is going to give you a subtle highlight. It's not going to be like using, say, um, a fan brush. You know, that's going to be like... Whew. But as you can see, I have glow happening there. And um, this is really good for that. I sometimes kind of go like this and then blend it out. Or sometimes I'll go like this. It depends, either sweeping or like a padding, packing motion. It just depends what I'm feeling. And as you can see, it fits down the bridge of your nose beautifully on your nose and also, of course, under the eye area. I definitely recommend this brush. I have not washed it yet, so um, I can't say as long as ha um, how long it's going to hold up. But based on my experience with other e.l.f. brushes, I would suppose that these brushes would hold up nicely. Next brush I got was this e.l.f. complexion brush. And it's so fluffy, obviously, you guys can tell that. And it does not have a round barrel, which I kind of found interesting. And it's just called the complexion brush. It's not a bronzer blush, a brush brush, blush brush. You know, um, you can, this is so multi-purpose. I'm actually heading off on a cruise in February and, um, I'm bringing this because you could definitely use it as a powder brush to do very light powder, which is like what I like. You could, um, use it for blush in a pinch, definitely a soft contour, um, bronzer all over, um, the perimeter or, um, I've actually even used it to kind of br bl bleh, brush the bake and fall out from under my eyes. So seriously, it works for so many things. It's super soft, and as you can see, it's kind of um, flat and pitched in there, um, but it's still very full. And I definitely enjoy this, and I found out that, about this through Emily Noel 83 as well. The last um, brush I got was the crease brush, as I mentioned before. And it's very, very tiny. Compare that to another crease brush. It's insane, the size difference. And I actually use this for um, light powder in my under eyes. But you can definitely tell the difference there. Um, I find a lot of crease brushes are pinched in, which I don't prefer. I like very full brushes. And this is actually beautiful for the outer corner as well. And in your crease. Because if you have very small eyes, you know... If you get a big brush, you're going to be blending and it's going to be like, oh, it's up to my eyebrow now. What now? You know? So this is so tiny and I absolutely love it. Um, I just, I'm so glad I purchased this. This is so, so amazing. The last thing I purchased was um, so amazing. Like, it was such an amazing pur purchase. It's probably my favorite. I've used it for like two weeks straight since I got it. I love it. This is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Foundation Stick, and I'm in natural.
and um, it's just so creamy. It blends to nothing, and it looks extremely natural. It's actually what's on my face today, and it's, it's in a stick format, so it's just like very simple to just put it where you want it. I do, um, in my one brand tutorial, I'll show application, but I basically just do like two stripes here, two on each cheek, one by my chin, dot, dot, um, down the bridge of my nose and a little on my lip. And then I blend it all in and go back and it is so buildable. It's crazy. I love this and I will give you guys a little bit of a swatch there. You can see that that looks extremely yellow and extremely, um, dark for me, but it blends because I ordered this shade offline and I had no idea what shade and it just blends to be nothing and of course my wrists are a little lighter than my arms which is why that looks a little bit too dark much too dark but it is so amazing again my oily skin girls no this would not be good it is super moisturizing and not greasy but definitely moisturizing and it, it has a lot of moisture to it and um I haven't gotten cakey with this and I have very dry skin so highly highly recommend that is probably my favorite thing out of this haul um one last comment on the foundation stick I had to order that from Ulta I did not the elf does not have it on their website somebody please tell me if they are discontinuing that I'm not even sure it was um on Ulta and I had to order it off there because I really I had heard wonderful things about this and I just I needed it. I'm sorry. I needed it. It was, it was like, I just had this passion that I needed it. <laughs> I don't know. It was like, I don't want to try any of their other foundations. I want that. That was only $6. And I am so happy with my purchase. I've worn it like every day for like two weeks straight. And I need to wrap this video up like right now because I mean, this place is a total mess. And, um... I'm actually preparing for a visitor who um, is going to be in my room and I am so excited. I can, I'm not telling you what it is yet in my, like, probably not this video, but the next video I will be introducing um, my visitor and I am so excited. Like, I just want to like run around like screaming. Like, I'm so, so, so excited excited and i'm like trying to stay composed through this video but really i just want to like start jumping up and down so anyways guys thank you so 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 much for watching it means a ton to me um definitely a one brand tutorial coming and i will review all these products in full in that tutorial thanks for watching be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that big subscribe button and i will see you next time bye